My friend's mom tried to stab me and my sister. Ah. Story time. Yes, honey, you heard that right. She tried to stab us with a knife. Jeez. So at the time, me and my sister were eight and nine years old. And we went to the pool every single day. And we eventually made friends with this boy. We're gonna call him Tomato. Then oh, our tomato. parents ended up making friends with Tomato's mom. Like they ended up becoming really good friends. And after a couple months, Tomato eventually asked me and my sister to spend the night. Well, our parents surprisingly said yes. This is the one time, and the one time only I wish my parents would have said no. Well, anyways, we went to the sleepover. By the way, it was our first sleepover we've ever been to. So we get there around yes. 5, and we're having a blast. We made forts, we watched DT, we ate popcorn. For our first sleepover, it was going wonderful. However, the whole time we were at this sleepover, his mom was in her room. 11 p.m. comes around, and the mom comes out of her room, smelling like alcohol. Yes. She was drunk. And she comes out, yes. and she starts screaming at us. She thought we were home invaders. Then she goes no. in the kitchen and grabs a knife. And coming for us, and I was like, oh, hell no. So I told my sister, I was like, Katie, leave. Katie was the closest to the front door. And because of that, I was like, Katie, leave. Like, don't worry about me. Just run out the door. And she runs out the door. Luckily, our bags were still packed. So I grabbed our backpacks or whatever because I was going to use it as a shield because she was running for me. My sister wasn't in her vision. Like, I was like, she was staring right at me, like right dead into my soul, charging at me with a freaking knife. I grab our stuff and I'm just like running towards the front door. She literally like almost slices me and I'm just like, ooh, ooh. I never ran so fast in my life. I booked it out of her house. Her son, Tomato, he was yelling at his mom and he's like, what are you doing? They're my friends. We invited them over. You don't remember? I felt so bad. He was like seven at the time. I literally felt so bad for Tomato. I'm just like, damn. I turned around when Tomato started yelling at his mom. Like, I was already out of the house, and I turned around because I heard Tomato yelling. His mom is like holding Tomato while he's yelling at her, and she's just like holding her knife, and she's like, what? Like, hey, lady, you are, you're crazy. You're literally insane. But whatever. Story time about how my boyfriend's best friend tried to ruin our relationship. So a little background information. My boyfriend used to be best friends with this one girl. We're gonna call her Jamie. Well, Jamie and my boyfriend were best friends for years. And their friendship was more flirty than anything. Well, him and I got to know each other during track season. So we were always hanging out after school. And sometimes Jamie would be there too. Well, the one night him and I were on FaceTime and we were talking about how we really liked each other. So the next day we started dating. And I was good friends yes. with Jamie, too. Then after we started dating, she started acting really weird towards me. Like, I would try to say hi whenever I saw her in the hallways, and she would just give me a dirty-ass look. So then I told my boyfriend how I thought that she was really mad at me. And he said that he would talk to her. Well, a week before him and I started dating, she told us that there was this guy that she really wanted to ask to prom. And she said that she liked him for a while. Well, then my boyfriend said, Apparently a few days ago you were hitting on the boy that she was going to ask to prom. So then I started to connect the dots and I was like, oh sh- Part 2 about how my boyfriend's best friend tried to ruin our relationship. So like I said, I started to connect the dots after that. And then I realized that she was talking about my boyfriend. We're just going to call him Josh. Mm -hmm. so as he's telling me this, I immediately get a FaceTime call from her. So I answer the phone and she says, well, I think I should just confront the situation now. So the first thing that she says is, you knew I liked Josh. Like, mm -hmm. how could you do this to me? I had a poster board and everything. So I'm just like, well, why didn't you tell me that you liked him? Mm -hmm. And she goes, like you knew but i was sitting there thinking about the fact that they were best friends for five years and nothing ever happened so mm -hmm. it's really not my fault and then this girl has the nerve to say i'm pretty sure if you just break up with him now me and you can get past this and still be friends mm -hmm. so i said no so then i called my boyfriend told him that we talked it out and i didn't even tell him about what she said or anything like that because i just wanted the situation to be over and done with so a few weeks after that she decided to get her brother involved her brother and Josh were best friends, by the way. Well, then her brother told Josh that him and I had been hooking up too about my boyfriend's best friend trying to ruin our relationship. So like I said, then she got her brother involved. And her brother and Josh were best friends. A little background information here. Josh had stopped talking to Jamie for those few weeks after she called me that night because she was making things really awkward in our relationship and just giving us a lot of problems. So the one night, Jamie's brother texts Josh. And he's like, bro, I think it's mad sus how you cut her off when your girlfriend's the problem. So obviously Josh texted him and said, what do you mean? <laughs> and her brother was like, she hits me up all the time to hang out. We've been hooking up. I can even send And before I started dating Josh, there was this boy that I was talking to for like six months and I ended up sending him. And yes, oh they got God. it on the school. But surprisingly, Josh had yeah. no idea about them. So her brother sent Josh the 
notes and said, bro, here, like, see her face is in it and everything. Oh Lesson God. learned, don't put your face. So then me and three That's other people explained to my boyfriend that those were from a while ago. And after that, he just blocked both of them and we're still together. Story time of how my entire virtual online class found out that I was pregnant and one of them ended up telling my mom. So due to COVID where I live, there is no in-person school, so everybody is virtual. So I was in my first block and you only have to turn on your cameras for when she does attendance and then when you're talking. So I was called on and I had to answer a question, so I unmuted myself and I turned on my camera. And then when I was done, I turned off my camera and I think I forgot to mute myself back. After that, during that week, I was already having a pregnancy scare so i facetimed my boyfriend and i went to go take a pregnancy test mind you i don't really listen in class to begin with so i turned the volume all the way back down because when the teacher calls on you once she doesn't call on you again so again i couldn't hear anything happening in the classroom yeah. so while i was on the phone with my boyfriend i was freaking out while i was taking a pregnancy test and it ended up coming back positive so i start freaking out and i started bawling my eyes out and in my room i was screaming i'm pregnant i'm pregnant what am i gonna do i look back over and the session had ended and everyone in that class is texting me like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm here for you, blah, 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 blah. So, of course, I start to freak out. Part two of how my whole entire online class found out that I was pregnant and one of them told my mom. So, oh, continuing with the story, I texted a couple of them back and I was like, um, how did you know? And they were like, we heard you sobbing in the background screaming, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. And then one of them goes, we heard some guy in the background screaming, just get a hanger, and you were screaming, no! Then one of them comes to tell me that the teacher had to start a brand new class because I would, wouldn't mute myself. So then I emailed my teacher and I told her that I was going through a really hard time and I really do apologize. And then she explained to me that everything was fine, like she understands things happen. So we were all good until like three days later. And my mom calls me telling me that somebody in my class had told her that I am pregnant. And I tried telling her like, no, like that is not true. That is not true whatsoever. And then she sends me a recording that somebody else sent her. Of me in my room bawling my eyes out screaming, I'm pregnant, I don't know what to do. So somebody in my class was a big old snitch and sent a recording of me screaming I'm pregnant to my mom. And my mom is trying to force me to get an abortion, but I don't want to. To sum it up, I'm moving in with my grandma because she's super, super supportive. And in three months, I'll be having a baby boy. So we talk about my boyfriend's crazy ex-girlfriend and how she tried to kill me. So I've had problems with my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend multiple times before. First met her when she DM'd me going off on me because I was dating her ex. Well, she apologized and we became really good friends. We actually got really close. Got so close to the point where she actually moved in with me. I even introduced her to my other friends and we all became really close. One day, my dad comes over to my apartment and after he left, she was being really weird. She wouldn't talk to me. She was ignoring me. She was being really short with me and over the next week or so i noticed my other friends becoming really distant well one of my friends decided to finally talk to me she told me that my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend told all of them that when my dad came over he had grabbed her butt and she told me about it i didn't do anything which was God. a fat lie that's not even the half of it. He lied to everyone about having cancer so she could get money. She tried to start a fight with me because she claimed I stole her stuff. She blocked me after that. Well, one day one of my really close friends that she was also friends with sent me a post she made on her Instagram. She posted a dead dog and captioned it, my heart is torn, I accidentally ran over my dog. It was my dog. Part two about my boyfriend's crazy no. ex-girlfriend and how she tried to kill me. So like I said, my boyfriend's crazy ex-girlfriend posted a dead dog on her Instagram. Captioned it saying she was so sad she accidentally ran over her dog. Well, it was my dog. At this time, I'm not home, so I immediately go home. Like I said, she lived with me, and I could tell that that picture was taken in the front of my apartment. But when I pull up, I see her looking out our window. When she sees me, she runs away from the window. I'm livid at this point. This my dog. So I run to get into my apartment, and she meets me at the door. She tells me that there's a fire in our apartment to leave all my belongings outside. So I drop my phone, purse, keys, and we run up to the apartment. She shows me the fire, says she's gonna go get help, and runs out of the apartment. And closes the door behind her. Get a bucket and fill it up with water and put some of the fire out. While I think my boyfriend's ex is going to go get help. Well, the fire started growing faster, and I needed to ditch and get out of the apartment. When I tried to get out, I noticed that the lock on the door was changed. The part where you put in your key to get into your apartment was on the inside facing me. I didn't have my keys because she told me to leave them outside. Part 3 of my boyfriend's crazy ex-girlfriend and how she tried to kill me. My boyfriend's crazy ex-girlfriend locks me inside my apartment while there's a fire and I couldn't get out because she changed the lock on the door. So I knew my only choice was to put out the fire unless I wanted to jump out the window. Well the smoke is getting really thick at this point. The fire had not gotten out of hand yet so there was still a chance that I could put it out and save my stuff and my life. I know I should have jumped out the window, but I wanted to save my stuff too. So I open up my window and start filling up that same bucket of water over and over again. And I keep pouring it on the fire, damn near about to pass out because of the smoke. The fire eventually does go out. And then I jump out the window because that's the only way for me to get out. But as I'm walking away from the apartment, my friend's ex is standing there and she gives me this look. 
She was annoyed that I was alive. When the firefighters and the police arrive, police start questioning everyone, and when they question me, I tell them that she tried to kill me and also put everybody else in the apartment's That's life me. in danger too. But after they took her down to the station to question her, she confessed to everything, including killing my dog. Now she's serving time in jail for attempted murder of me and my neighbors. One day, my cousin made a Tinder, and we were having a family barbecue, so he came over. He was like, oh my god, Sam, like, this really hot girl just, like, matched with me. And then he shows me. And then I see the profile, and it's literally pictures of Madison Beer. But the name on the profile was, like, Kalani. I was like, bro, I don't know who you're texting, but it's not Madison Beer. You're, you're texting some auntie right now. Whole last auntie. He's like, guess we're about to find out. I was like, huh. No? What the f No? He's like, yeah, I just gave her the Addy. She's about to pull up. Like, we're going to meet. Like, it's all cool, Sam. Like, trust me. Trust me. Trust me, he said. Okay. I trusted him. So I see a car pull up, and he's like, oh my god, I think it's her. I was like, oh shit, what if I do meet Madison Beer? Um, the door freaking opens, and this old lady pops up. I look at my cousin, and I'm like, go! Go hug her! Go, go, go! You were so excited! It's Kalani! The one and only! Come on! It was crazy. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.